Uh, so this question, you are told point L and M are equidistance from another point K. The bearing of L from K is 330 degrees. The bearing of M from K is 220. Calculate the bearing of M and from L. <coughs> you get three marks. So uh, here you are not supposed to use scale drawing. But to be able to understand the way the question is, it is good to make a sketch. Uh, so we will start by making a compass, uh, the point K. And we say that uh, s uh, the bearing of L from K is 330. 330 is just 30 degrees before you get to 360. Uh, so this, it means the angle that uh, will be left here is 30 uh, degrees and that will be the, 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 the point L. The bearing of M from K is 220. So from this is 180. 180 you add 40 degrees and uh, you get uh, that is, uh, <coughs> that is uh, the, the bearing. And therefore we have that is a bearing of uh, M. And therefore this angle here is a uh, it means it is 40 degrees and uh, we can join uh, these two uh, now because this angle is 90 it means this angle is 60 degrees and uh, since uh, this angle is uh, 40 it means this angle is 50 so that they both add up to 90 and therefore this angle is one uh, 110 uh, 110 you minus from 180 you'll be able to get uh, 70 degrees so it means this angle here is 35 degrees and this is 35 degrees now there's something that we need here we need to make a compass here uh, because we need to get uh, to find m the 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 bearing of m from l so since this angle is 60, it means this angle here is 60, uh, and this angle is 35. So if you add, uh, so this angle is 35, so that and that is the bearing of L from L, and therefore we will see, uh, so here we have 90, uh, that is 90 degrees, you add to 60 degrees, and then you add to 35 degrees and that should give you 185 uh, degrees. So that is a bearing of M from L, and that's how you go about that. So the sketch should be able to guide you on how to approach that question.